All right, thank you, Ryan. New at 11, a Bay Area couple is refusing to give up in their quest to figure out what happened to their daughter. Jennifer Kessie vanished 13 years ago. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon has the huge hurdle her family just overcame in learning the truth. Hope is such a powerful four-letter word. And you know, nobody can take your hope away. Joyce and Drew Kessie say they will move mountains to get answers. The family announcing on Thursday they settled a lawsuit against the Orlando Police Department. Police will give them every file related to their daughter's disappearance so private investigators can start from scratch. We have said uh, for many years that uh, ultimately it is our responsibility to find our daughter if officials cannot. The family calls it hell not knowing what happened to their daughter, Jennifer Kessie. She grew up in Tampa. Her parents still live in the Bay Area. The 24-year-old vanished in January of 2006 from her condo in Orlando near Mall at Millennia. We're not stupid, and if Jen was murdered, how come we haven't found her body yet? You know, where is she? The family paying nearly $19,000 for the records. They say it's their best chance in more than a decade to find Jennifer. You have a better chance of somehow seeing something differently that wasn't seen. It's just one more opportunity, but we get to see truly right. what everything has been about mm -hmm. on a legal level. These parents begging for answers for closure and a miracle for Jen. We know more than one person knows what's happened here. We, uh, we know that. Mm -hmm. And we just have to touch the one heart. It's 13 years plus later. Just give Jennifer the chance, not us, not her brother. Jennifer's family has already started to receive some of those police files. No suspect has ever been named in connection to their daughter's disappearance. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.